Welcome. Thanks for taking a few minutes to learn about installing R365 for fiberglass pools. Today we'll be talking about the post pour phase, which includes mechanism assembly, track installation, and cover installation and adjustment. Let's get started. The first step is gathering your materials. Check to make sure you have three boxes and the cover. In the boxes you'll find the cover pump and parts kit, the track, lead edge, drum and shims, the cover, and the mechanism and controller. You'll need the following tools. Step 1. Mechanism Assembly Slide the nylon bearing into the opposite end bracket. Be sure the adjustment nuts are pointing upward. Then, attach the opposite end casting to the tube using the 5 16 inch and 3 quarter inch bolt and lock washer. Next, attach the tube to the motor side pedestal. Install the channel plates for the mechanism and opposite end brackets as follows. Tilt the channel plate back and insert into the bracket. Then, slide the bracket up to the top of the channel and let the channel plate rest in place. Install the bolts into the UT under track holes of the bracket. Leave the bolts loose to allow for adjustment after the next step. Lower the assembled mechanism onto the hanger brackets. Ensure that each mounting bracket is straddling the proper hanger bracket and loosely fasten the mounting bracket to the channel plate through the hanger bracket with bolts. Align the assembled unit side to side as illustrated. When it's properly aligned, tighten all the bolts. Step two, track installation. The track system provides the pathways through which the cover and ropes move as the cover travels across the pool. Proper preparation is crucial for making sure that the cover runs smoothly. When determining the track length, account for the pulley spacers. Note that these are only used with the two-channel track. Allow for the track to extend one inch into the polymer box from the end of the retainer. Measure the track length and cut the track to size. Please note, cut the track only at the end that goes into the polymer box. Maintain factory edges along the length of the track and at the pulley end. Countersink and file the track at each end in the area shown. File down any sharp edges inside the track channel. Install the splices with a set bolt. Unwrap and unroll the cover behind the box with the mat side upward and unwind the ropes. Thread the ropes through the large channel of the track and lead it into the end of the track. Wind the rope around the pulley and thread the rope through the back side. Repeat with the other side. Place the track into the retainer, making sure the pulley and splice stay in place. Push the track as far forward as possible. Starting at the pulley end of the track, insert wedges under the track. Use the rubber mallet to ensure each wedge is fully seated. Trim the last piece one and a half inches shorter than the end of the retainer. With a quarter inch drill bit, drill through the top of the retainer, the track, and the bottom of the retainer. Fasten the track to the retainer by pushing the locking pin in through the holes. Step three, cover installation. With the cover still folded behind the box, install the filler strip into the wall cap. Note that access to this area will be difficult after the cover is in place. Install the filler strip in the other end of the pool. Insert adjustable dowels into each end of the lead edge and use the rubber mallet to make sure dowels are seated properly. Using the 11 64 inch drill bit, drill a pilot hole 3 quarters of an inch in from the end of the dowel to prevent it from coming out of the lead edge. Insert the screw to secure the dowel. Please note, you will only drill through the lead edge. Attach the glider bracket to the glider on the opposite side. Guide the glider and cover corner into the track while pulling gently on the rope. Pull the cover until it is approximately 6 inches into the track. Starting on the opposite side of the previously assembled glider, 
Slide the front edge of the fabric into the lead edge channel. Hold the fabric taut and slide the lead edge until it reaches the glider bracket. Insert the glider bracket into the appropriate slot and slide the lead edge in as far as possible. The cover should extend beyond the lead edge. Adjust the cover corner within the lead edge at the opposite end. Insert the lead edge screw and screw cover through the lead edge channel into the front edge of the cover. With the lead edge screw and screw cover in place, starting at the carriage side, pull the slack from the front of the lead edge into the lead edge channel. Work toward the opposite side. Insert the remaining glider bracket into the lead edge dowel in the same slot as you did on the opposite side. Attach the bracket to the glider with supplied hardware. Tighten until snug, then back off slightly to allow the glider and glider bracket to pivot slightly as the cover travels across the pool. Feed the glider and the cover into the track while gently pulling on the rope. With both corners of the cover in the track, install the guides. Use the top half of the guide as a template and drill the hole for your hardware. Use a quarter inch bit to make the hole, then remove the top half of the guide and use a slightly larger bit to make installation easier. Fasten the guides to the track with the supplied hardware. Insert the remaining cap screw into the back end of the guide and fasten together with a nut. Adjust the lead edge until it's parallel to the wall cap by gently pulling on the appropriate rope. When you're satisfied with the position, measure the rope 8 feet to 10 feet from the front edge of the box and cut each rope in the same place. Tie knots in the end of the rope and insert into the appropriate side of the rope reel. Use the controller to operate the cover in close direction and guide excess rope onto the reel in a uniform manner. Continue to operate the cover in closed direction until the lead edge reaches the end of the pool. The cover should feed into the track smoothly and evenly. If the cover catches at the guide or one side of the lead edge stops in the track, release the controller and look for trouble spots. Attach the cover to the tube starting at one end, aligning the edge of the webbing with the edge of the tube. Please note, secure the end of the fabric with the screws provided taking up the slack evenly on both sides, working toward the middle as described in the written instructions. Use the controller to open the cover enough to take up the extra length of cover loosely around the tube. Cuff the edges of the cover at each end. Open the cover completely. Reinstall and level the lid bracket arms. Assemble the lid seam support bracket and lid lock components. Attach left and right fascia by placing into the channel on the front of the lid, bottom edge first, and then tilt up and in. Measure the distance between the left and right pieces to determine the middle piece. Cut to the appropriate length and attach in the same way as the left and right pieces. You have now successfully completed the post bore portion of the 365 installation for fiberglass pools. Should you have any additional questions, please give us a call Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at 800-878-5789 and ask for technical support. Thanks again from all of us at Automatic Pool Covers.